today I am going to be showing you how to make a chevron friendship bracelet. So the supplies you'll need is some embroidery floss and some scissors and some tape. Today I will be showing you how to make a chevron with only three colors. You need at least three colors to make a chevron, but you can do more if you'd like. Now that I have chosen my three colors, I am going to cut my string that I need. So all, all of your strings, to measure for a chevron, what I do, I go from fingertip all the way to fingertip. And then I cut it and I do all colors like that because you are going to be folding the strings in half so that you have six strings to work with. So now I'm just measuring all my colors to that length. All right. All right, once you have your colors cut, you're going to take it and you are going to evenly fold them in half so that the two ends meet. So it's like this. Then how I tie it is I make a loop around my finger and go under it and pull. So now I have a loop like this. Okay, so now that I have my string, I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to tape it, tape the string above the knot right here. And now I'm going to put the tape aside. I am going to separate the strings so that they are a mirror image of each other. So I will do blue first, pink second. And then gray third. Now on the this is one side. Now on this side, I know I show pink is first, but blue is really first, and then pink, and then gray. So now what we're gonna do is on this side, on the left side, we are going to make forward fours. So you start with the outermost string, so we're going to do blue over pink, pull the knot up, and we're going to do blue over pink again. You're going to do it twice. Then you're going to hold on to the blue, put the pink off to the side. You're going to do blue over gray, and blue over gray. You're going to do the knot twice. Then you're going to put the gray off to the side. You stop. You leave the blue in the middle. Then you go to the right side. You do backwards fours. So you're going to do two pink over the blue. Another one. Now you're going to put the blue to the right and you're going to do two pink over the gray with your backwards fours now your two pink strings are in the middle so what you're going to do you're going to take the left one and go over the right pink and you're just going to do a forward four. You're going to do two of those. Two forward fours. And then you switch the two strings. You just keep repeating this pattern over and over until you have your whole bracelet done.
So, when I get about this far down, this is when I take another piece of tape and I just put it on top of the bracelet I've worked on so far. So that way, when I'm working on the bracelet, this doesn't keep going up on me and I can easily, easily do the bracelet. Now that you guys get the gist of it, I am going to move the camera so that way you can see how the bracelet comes along from the opposite side. your desired length then you can stop with your bracelet and I will show you how how I personally end my bracelets all right so now that my bracelet is the desired length that I want I'm going to take it off of the table 
I will remove my tape and just set it aside. All right, now I'm gonna make sure there's no knots in my extra string. And I'm not gonna cut it off yet. First, I am going to tie a knot at the end. All right, I'm gonna, I have a loop, but I'm gonna make sure that knot is at the end of my bracelet, like this. All right, now I get my scissors and you can just cut it and be done. Or what I like to do is I like to tape it down at the end, at your end knot. And then I cut off just a little bit, but I leave myself enough so that way I can braid the end. tie another knot but I do not pull the knot right away I pull it up the braid so that way there's a knot at the end of the braid and then I cut off the extra and voila here is a chevron bracelet Thank you.